All right, art right, students, welcome back to another Hero Pose Drawing Session. A drawing lesson, drawing session. So I'm going to draw another basic superhero pose for those guys who, are, who have their heroes. And you basically just want to just draw them in a nice pose. You just want to show them off to your people. Uh, you're not ready to do the comic book, but you just want to start drawing your character more. So I'm going to give you this nice little pose for your character. I'm going to do several of these because somebody asked me to do one. So I said, you know, there's a lot of different poses you can take as a hero, depending on your powers. You know, if you were a runner or a flyer or a swimmer or something like that, you would have a slightly different pose for your powers, for each different power, or you should. So I'm going to do this one real quick and then um, show you some different things about it, like show you how if your character is, you know, your average like Captain America size, or maybe he might be skinny, or maybe he might be big. So I'm going to break it down and do several of these poses, the same pose, and just make them bigger and make them smaller. I'll show you how I would go about doing it. All right, so I've got the yellow and the blue paper because if you are, have ever seen my channel, you know that my camera is just stupid and it wants to blur on me. So when it focuses on the yellow, it'll not blur. So like it's doing now, trying to do now. So I said, let me put another color there just to see what it will do because it, it's at a point where I zoom in and out that it wants to blur. So the first thing is, of course, as I say, is you're always your torso. You have to figure out how do I want my character to be seen? Am I going to see him straight on? Am I going to see above him? Am I going to see from below him? Or camera up or camera down? So we're just going to do kind of a, a straight on shot because sometimes it gets so complicated. So you're going to do your uh, oval. Let's see if I can show that. I'm going to do a new one, new torso thing. And I'm going to pretend that this is like somebody's first time seeing this. So they have no idea, uh, they have no idea or they don't understand what I'm saying. So basically at the beginning of all these, I'm gonna to try to do these to do this. So that even though you may have seen it a couple of times, maybe I'll say something that you really didn't know or weren't sure of. So your torso is basically an oval or an upside down egg shape, literally kind of like that more wider at the top than the bottom. You're not really drawing the skeleton because the skeleton is the other way around. Wider at the bottom and at the top and you have the opening for your stomach and you have your, your, your rib. So we're not drawing the skeleton, we're drawing the shape for the torso and you make it wider at the top to give rooms for your arm, your arm, your shoulders because you want wide shoulders and a narrow waist. That is why you draw more of that shape there. All right, so torso, center line, that tells you where that person is turning. And I said I was gonna get a dummy for this one. So hold on one second. Center line for all you brand new kind of people that are trying to do this. Your center line, right down over from your sternum, if I'm not mistaken, your, your, your abs and down the crotch. So if you split the person in two, you have you know two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears, blah, blah, blah. So if you take that center line and you turn a little bit, it would be like this. Same way opposite side, it would be like that. So if you are turning, if you're looking down at the person, you still gonna have the center line, the pen it could be turned, it could be straight, but I'm gonna put it straight here. Now, after the center line goes your shoulder blade, right here, zoom in. I should use my other one. Shoulder blades which are straight across, only if you're looking at the person straight on. So if I'm looking at the person straight on, shoulder blade is going to be like that. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. Now, if I'm looking above the person, if I took my camera to look above the person, the shoulder blades are going to go more like a V, like that. So the thing is, and going up, you won't see the shoulder blades because this is a circle. This is a circle, and you're looking up at this circle, where if you're looking down at this circle, it's going to be more like that. So you those, those 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 shoulder blades will probably not be seen depending on how much um, angle your camera is or the view is that you want to draw. You, they they're going to you're going to see less shoulder, less shoulder, and then the chest is just going to jump out. Like I say, it depends on how much you turn that person up. So the collarbone could be here which is above the chest. So yeah, it's at the end of the chest. So you might just see just chest like that. And then this part, which is right here, we, we, we are using this 
as an example, this little curve right here, which is this, is where your your um your can't think of what this called your your organs and stuff are hiding in that little cage. So if they take damage, they won't hurt because they're basically just like war, wet water balloons, like your kidneys and your stomach and all that stuff. But I think your stomach is like down here somewhere. I don't know. Where was I? Okay, so yeah, that is going to be right here in the kind of in the center. Your chest is going to be above. This one's going to be over here. You're going to have a longer line down here than you would over here. This one's going to be up higher because you're looking you're looking up higher. This is the average in there. So you look you're up there. This you're going to see more of this here. And if you're looking down, you're going to see your chest here, and you're going to see less of this. And the same thing over here, you just tilt it to the other side. So however I decide to see my person, the first thing I'm going to do is start with my torso. This is going to be my torso. And I say to myself, okay, am I going to see him a little from the above, from the top? Is he going to be twisted? Is he going to be turned? Once you figure that out, the rest kind of falls into place. Whatever um, position you think of, once that torso is there, then, as I say, the rest kind of like falls in place. because everything everything else follows that torso. And once you do this over and over again, it's just like writing your, your alphabet. Once you do this over and over again, it becomes second nature, simple, just like writing the letter A, B, C, or D, whatever. It becomes second nature and you can do it. The thing is, a lot of people get, um, they get frustrated because they're like, oh, I can't do it. It's you can do it. You just haven't put enough practice into it. The more you do it, the better and the faster you get to it. And then when you can get the basic shapes, then you can study the muscles and see where the muscles go. And then you will be able to draw a lot better than you draw now. So it's just time and practice like anything, like playing basketball or football or soccer or whatever. It's just time and practice. How much time do you want to put into it? How, how good do you want to be? How much time you want to put into it so with all that said let's get drawing so again start with the torso because my head if i do my torso like right about here my head is only going to take up this much space so never start with the head so let me take my blue pencil and draw a little darker because the last video i didn't it wasn't really dark enough for me so i want to darken it but well, you can see it but i don't want it too dark because i want to erase some of it and this thing, let me adjust my camera once again because it doesn't like to focus and see what it will, what it will do. Okay, <clears throat> torso, my legs are probably going to be, my feet are probably going to be down here, which is good enough, which is, this is really good enough for me. I don't want the feet to go off, hopefully. Maybe I might make it a little smaller, we'll see, a little shorter. But once you do this enough, you can pretty much feel how far something's going to go down just by the size of the torso. So let's, 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 I'm still looking at it. It'll probably be right on the edge. All right, so let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this torso that way, which is going to be your whatever, my whatever, your left, your, my right, whatever. And this camera, once it warms up, it, it doesn't do it anymore for some stupid reason. Then I'm going to have my collarbone straight across. So he's going to be like on the same level as you. I'm going to have this here and then my chest just above it. So when I do a side, when I do more of a three quarters position at this point and this point, I'll put a curve, just same amount of curve like this. And that represents where my chest is going to turn and go up into the delt. That's what that represents. Chest will be here, delt will be there. Delt is that part of the arm. So yeah, here and it's gonna turn. So I'm gonna have my arm here, right underneath this collarbone. Collar, if you bring it all the way off, it's kind of like a weight hanging under it, like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Is it is it is it blurring? Like that. So then I will bring my waist down from this line here, and then not this line, but I'll bring it over just a little bit. Uh, I'll, I will see what I need as far as the thickness of the waist, but it does not connect with this from the front, only from the side. Go back and look at the other video and I'll leave a link and you'll kind of understand because this curves in and you have your um, obliques. So actually I can even give it a little bit more there. 
move it out more. So anyway, let's finish the body before I start to do any detail. So we're going to have my waist. Then we're going to have your hips. Those legs are going to be mighty close to the edge. That center line is going to hit that point. And I call it the upside down house for those people that are new because one thing we always draw when we're young is a house. It's kind of one of the first things we draw is a house, you know, with the windows and doors and so forth. But if you turn that over, it's the perfect shape for your hips, the male hips anyway. The women, the women would come out more, almost like the baseball um, home plate. So if I turn this over and I drop this down here and I did the upside down house, it's perfect for the hips and then just round this off leaving a little space as I call it for the man junk and then you have hips this camera is just like you know, I'm gonna throw it into the wall I just have to unzoom because it doesn't like to zoom in too much because whenever I move it has to like rezoom itself and focus and my next camera is definitely gonna be one that has a better zooming and focus so I'm gonna pull out Sorry, I was gonna make it a little smaller, but I'm gonna pull out so that this won't happen. You see the way it jumped like that? That is that, AKA the sweet spot where it won't blur anymore. So, sorry for pulling out. Uh, what did that sound like? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna draw the head now because from here is gonna be a V. And the neck is going to be here and the head is going to be here. Now I can turn the head, put the head just an oval for now or a rectangle. If you, if it's hard for you to draw oval, put a rectangle. The neck should be straight down with it. Now I can have the head going this way. I can have it going this way, whatever, however I want the, the character to be looking. But I'm going to have the character looking at us. So because the body's turned this way, I'm going to have the character, the center line, he's going to be looking at us. Yeah, so okay, so we've got that. So I want to put the legs, I'm going to put the legs far, uh, like um, spread the legs. Like the last one I had him leaning, he's, he's, he, he was leaning on the one leg. He had that one weight. He had the weight on one leg. Did you just unfocus? And then this one was out, but I'm going to have the two separated. The more powerful kind of, you know, hero stand. Not too separated, but just enough and you have to gauge how far you want to spread the legs and you know this part is going to be equal distance with the other part so we're going down here i'm going to put a circle for my knee go over around that and it's going to go down and there's my calf like that so the other one is going to be the same and he's going to be here around there and my calf like that so he's got that that you know that that super stance kind of stance So yeah, I've got to get a good camera with good autofocus, making his legs a little bit bigger, wider. So I'm going to put the hands, I'm going to give him, it's like, this guy has like the, I don't know what you would even categorize this power as. So he's going to have his hands up like he has like plasma power or power. He can shoot energy from his like hand or fist or something like that. So this is going to be that type of pose where you have your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. Try not to make that hand too big. And you're going to have the other one about right here. What I'm going to 
gonna do is I'm gonna draw the hand first and then I'm gonna connect the arm to the hand. We still focused, good old, good old, good old. And you may see some of the bottom of the hand, but you definitely will see some of the side of the hand. So notice how I just basically, I did a square, I'll get a little curve to it like that. And depending, depends on if I'm holding it up, if I'm holding it, depends on how, how much of an angle you, you see, or the angle of the hand, you see the back of it, or you see the bottom of it. So that depends on, you know, the angle that you draw it on. And then you see some of the side. It's going to be some of the side of it right here. So drawing the delts. I'm going to have to move that head over because the shoulder's a little too wide. A little too, the shoulder's a little too long. So that should have been like this. Should have came up like that. I'll fix that in a wash. So we're going to have this one arm, bicep, coming down here. Because this is a given. This actually should have went into his shoulder more. That's that's what it is. So let me fix that. Let me fix that. When you turn your character to the side, it's fine from the front. You have even, like this, your delts, bicep, and it's going to be your forearm. Your delts right here, bicep, and your forearm. So when you turn it to the side, you have to bring this in more. So the way I have it here off of the body, it has to be onto the body. And a lot of times I, I rush and then I'll see that later. So this is gonna be like this, this chest is gonna come up like this, this chest is gonna come up here, and your delts are gonna be inside the body, whereas this one is gonna be actually off of the body. So that's gonna be inside the body because you're turning. You see how his delts here are off the body. Come on, dude, stand up you're like you're drunk. Or off the body or off the chest but once you turn it you see how it comes into that body yeah i was gonna say something else but it jumped out of my head so yeah and then that bicep is going to be inside cutting off all of this part right here and then your chest you're going to be cutting off all that part right there so when you turn your body you just have to remember that rookie mistake brian so it's gonna be like this. And then that, and it puts that head in a better, more better position. More natural, better position. So we have the bicep. And so this is going to come up. It's gonna be that cylinder, and I'll show you a second, <clears throat> show you in a second, and connect to that. The bicep could be bigger, or I could bring that out a little bit more. Up a little bit more fighting for an eraser that head still has to move over so let me add a little more detail to this so i can see through my lines chest is going to come up this is going to come down and around and then you have your bicep you may see some tricep depending on the turn of the arm so this is going to come here. It splits here. Your delts are going to separate because there are three, three parts to the three heads, three separate muscles to make up one delt. Shoulder. Bring that shoulder out a little bit more. And that arm. Because you come to a point. Separating the bicep from the tricep, it's gonna go down. And then this is going to cover this up right here. Now I think I will adjust that hand, maybe bring that hand up a little bit more so you can see some of the bottom of that forearm. So do it kind of lightly for now. Here. pencil this is why I use three colors if I get lost in a color or two or too much blue or too much red then I will switch to regular pencil pencil just gives me a lot of glare 
from my light. It's my hand, which is too big. So I'm going to angle this, give it a curve, give it some curve to it, angle it so I can have my thumb up here. You will see something in the back of that palm. And I will drop this down because this is, this is kind of where I want this. I will drop that, that other one down. So we'll halfway be balanced with this one. So if I put the hand about, if I go straight across, let's say I put the hand about right here. Here's my hand. So then I will bring that down and around and maybe bring it in more because I have to make it just a little longer because of that angle, which means I'll bring this closer to the body. That's going to go into the collarbone, a little dip right there, and then my shoulders be here and here. Chest is going to come up here, and then this should be right in there. And pull the paper up where I can see it. I might not need these two because it shouldn't blur on me anymore. Should not because it's low. It's low end. Uh, I wanted to draw close up so you guys can see more, but until I get that camera with that super zoom focus, kind of stuck with this one. Now let me put some feet on that and show you what I was going to say about bigger and smaller. Pencil, pencil. Five, four, three, two, one. Bit my paper. This is a pet peeve of mine. When I bend my paper, we get a little, what do you call it, rabbit ear or something like that? I don't like that. My foot, half of a half a triangle at a certain angle. You know, if I if I wanted to do the foot, I would do this curve here. So you can see the foot, and then maybe back a little bit, just back at an angle. Yeah, you focus. And then this other foot could either go out or it could be forward. Like this, if I did the toe like that, just, just to show you guys where the toe would be at. So I have my lat here. I'll make my waist a little smaller. I'll bring this hip in a little bit more. Because the leg, you have your you have your man, you have your room for your man junk here leg actually comes up and like that this is the actual how your leg would be shaped this is why you have the house the upside down house shape because of the way that it is actually shaped so i'm gonna hold that for now so let me draw a quick another one of these real quick and show you what i was saying 
about if you want to make your character skinny or small. Uh, let's do blue for now. Okay, I'm trying to draw about maybe the same size. Also, should I say, should I say the same thickness? So, collarbone, delt, arm. Well, the arm is like, what was it, right? About right here. Delt comes down. And this goes this way. So a quick rough of uh, basically almost the same pose. Now, if I wanted to make this guy skinnier, like somebody asked me to draw skinny, how would you draw skinny people? And I'm kind of working on that video as we speak. I'm working on like three videos at one time. Burn myself out. So you have this guy, let's just say he's about the same size uh, muscularity as the other guy I just drew. As soon as I do it a little bit more. So I will have, so if I want to make this guy skinnier, and I'll go red. And you can all see this blue. You can all see this blue. Now, I don't want the same size body for all my superheroes. So what I'm going to do is just narrow, and I should do more detail to that arm. Narrow all of this stuff out depending on how skinny you want. He's got big shoulders. Let me sharpen this pencil real quick because I'm going to dig into it. I'm going to narrow my shoulders, narrow my neck. If the head was like this, as I say, you should have your head, whatever size your head is, if you want somebody muscular straight down on the side where your ears are, your neck should come straight down too, just like that. If you want the guy to be muscular, hopefully it's not blurred. So if I want to do somebody skinny, I'm going to drop these shoulders. Let's just say I'll keep the head same size, maybe a little less, yeah, it's not as square. Drop the neck a little bit more. It's not going to come out as, as wide. The shoulders are going to be more down and the arm is going to be Definitely less thicker and not as much curve. You still got to have some curve, but it's not going to be, you know, that that type, that much curve. He's not going to have as much lats, which is the lats would be would have been like way out here. So it's going to be more really narrower. He's still a hero, so I'm going to give him a little bit of lats. Bring that in a little bit. The legs are definitely not going to be as big. But you still want to have that kind of curve to the shape to the leg. Being a hero, you still want to give him a small waist and a fairly okay lat. Legs a little long for me, but smaller feet. If he wears a size 12, this guy should be like a size 9. And as I said, you want to come down here with that small shoulder. Smaller arms, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, um, bicep, and then you have that, and then you, the fist, how's that fist going to go?
So you're just slimming this guy off a whole, slimming him off, slimming him out a whole lot. Maybe his chest, instead of having the chest one, one, one line that connects the whole thing like this, you're gonna have like stop it right here and maybe a line here, here, and then just stop it right there. He still kind of got the powerful look, but it's not connected like one big massive chest. And again, I should have brought this in more. It's just it's it's a it's a quick habit when I draw. When I start drawing quickly, it's a it's a habit of drawing both arms looking straight on. So as I say, you just just don't connect the the whole chest. And then the same thing, you know, don't connect the abs. Give them a little bit of you know ab here, there, and you know line here. He's still muscular, but he's not big and um, bulky. You still have, like I said, the leg muscles, which are gonna be more narrower. Maybe they don't connect. All the lines won't connect. It won't be like one piece. Just show a little definition where it needed, needed to be. And then you want this one you want to take all the way across because when you get really skinny, this collarbone jumps out a lot, a lot. When you, um, when you get like hungry skinny, like third world hungry kind of skinny all that jumps out a lot collarbone and you give them a little bit of you know um bicep like that so now if i wanted to make the guy hulkish hulkish i would keep the same size let's go go back to the blue head i'll have the head the same size because your head won't really grow you can do workout as much as you want, but your head won't grow. Um, I'll make that neck a little wider, more like mountains. And you could actually take the shoulders out more, depending on you know the size you want your guy. Of course, everything's gonna be rounded, ballooned, rounded, like it's got a lot of air, bicep, tricep. You wanna have a fat wrist. And big hands for punching people. <clears throat> gonna get that neck muscle. Definitely gonna do that chest. One one solid line. The delt. It's gonna be like all these one solid lines that came in. That's a little too close, but that's okay because we can still use the cylinder. The latch should be way, way out here coming in. Give him a little more waist. And then I'll definitely show where the, the love handles are for somebody big. But if you're covering up with a uniform, then you won't see it or a belt or something. Of course, you want these legs, you want them legs to be massive, massively round legs, leaving, saving that junk, room for the junk. Again, you want to, you want to show every, the line connects wherever um, the muscles are. You want to keep those lines connected. Big calves, big shins, definitely big uh, ankles, and then a bigger foot to hold all that weight up. And that all depends on what your character is doing as well. Is he a fighter? Is he just, um, a uh, muscle guy, can he jump, you know, all of that stuff. So if somebody's swimming, a swimmer, usually it'll be longer and leaner. If he's a, a, a fighter, he'll have more, you know, muscular body. Um, swimmer, runner, you know, runner's gonna probably have more uh, stronger legs, more muscles in the legs. You know, if he's like a powerhouse, like the Hulk, of course, he's just gonna be just big and just, you know, big. And then of course, you want to have that abs connected. 
I'm bearing down so hard I'm pushing all kind of lines in my other paper. And then so if you wanted them even bigger, you would just take it out even more. I don't want to get too big. So if you draw your basic shape of your, your character, your basic form of your character, and you say, okay, he's too small, you just keep adding. You just add and make it rounder, rounder, and rounder. And of course, as I say, you want the hands a little more bigger than the average, the average hand would be. Pick up the balloon chest even more. And then you would get your uh, the striations. Collarbone, shoulders, be even more massive. And of course, that neck could even go wider. And then you start to go for more of the square chin. So that would be basically how you would take your character in the same pose, same uh, from the position, and make him either skinnier or uh, thicker, depending on the size of your character, the build of your character. Now you can make them taller or shorter, it depends on your character. So let me finish this guy, and the hard part is gonna be uh, trying to find a costume for him. And I'll work on some females as well. You know, YouTube might try to monetize me, but that's all right, it's about, it's about you guys learning. So your abs, and as I said on the other one, everybody's abs is, is different. You know, everybody's abs is not straight across everyone has abs but a lot of people just the abs are covered just with fat you remove the fat you'll see your abs everybody has abs it's just to, to get really good abs you have to starve yourself basically ask any professional bodybuilder these guys like eating chicken and rice and broccoli no um no flavor to it just steamed rice steamed broccoli steamed chicken you know, basically no flavor because you can't put the salt on them or sodium so they can get that cut. So one I mean, one bodybuilder say we don't eat for taste. We just eat for like the, the nutrients. So they can't really put a lot of spices and stuff on it that, that we like. So here's my legs. I will bring this in and out more just because when you turn you will see some of your buttocks as your leg is going to come in like this and this part is going to be just some buttocks right there so I'll bring this in and out more or out and in more to give them better defined legs this this is going to go in some so now this is kind of like just nitpicking comes up leaving that little V with that knee a little bit of foot I'll work on that foot later. I just did that little toe part to show you guys. If your foot doesn't look like it's has any roundness to it, you can add this little piece here until you um, until later, until you put the shoe or the boot on, whatever, or you can just break it like that. And then that also shows it. That gives you that bend. But that's too down. I don't want it too far out like that because it's kind of almost a straight on shot. And there are times when you can't see, you know something is wrong. You like, you, you like see the army, like something's wrong. I can't really figure it out. Just stop, stop, put it down, go watch TV or do something and 
come back later and most times you'll see what's wrong but your your, your mind is like so fixed on getting it that you're really not looking at it because that happens with me a lot of times i can see that something's not right and i try to erase and draw and erase and draw and you're just tearing your paper up so just kind of stop and then walk away come back later so it's gonna do something this chest i'm gonna move this out over a little bit more just a bit more just a tiny bit. Give him a little more room on this side of the chest. Tip that up. Coming here, your, your serratus muscles, if I'm not mistaken, would be once you come up, where's this thing at? Once you come up, I'm gonna do, okay, or ways. Once you come up, just here's your chest. Let me draw this so you guys can see that. Here's your chest here, collarbone here, delt, delt abs coming down once you come up from your waist and in those are your serratus muscles if i'm not mistaken for the name anyway so past that is your lats once you go past these muscles your lats and then into these are your i don't even know what these muscles are called these little because it's basically just your ribs and like i said then your lats and then you have your your delts and then your arm covers up some of that lat. And of course, you have your abs. So I think other than doing the hand, hands, details on the details on the hands, I think it might be almost ready for copy. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna photocopy this in color, then I'm gonna add the uniform to the color copy then copy it again in black and white and you won't see all these lines because these are non photocopyable pencils the blue and the red so let me sharpen this and work on that head a little bit more see that neck and that head should be just aligned the chin or that where the ear is should be aligned I think the chin is as chin the chin comes like to the center of the eye that's the length of the chin and, but it all depends on your character that you're doing that you are doing and I always have trouble drawing the, the roundness of the top of the head I always kind of screw that up somehow some way so my eye my nose my mouth bottom lip so my muscles from my neck here and right here and then this your neck actually comes in it curves around and my other piece of paper like this let's use this one it comes around and it curves around down here and then you have your, your shoulders this part curves around like this and then it leaves this little uh, triangle on both sides. That's like when you're really, really muscular. And then you have these two muscles that go kind of like up to the ear. And then you have your little Adam's apple part here. There's a lot of different little tubes running through the neck. I don't do too many of them. Just, you know, this one and the two on the side, the main two on the side. So you're going to always have that neck that's going to come down and curve around and then you're going to have that shoulder right here that little that um actually the traps trapezius muscles it comes around as i said it leaves that little it leaves that little v here or triangle here because this goes way up on the back of your neck so let me let me i don't pencil this pencil's not gonna photocopy it's not gonna not photocopy so I don't want really the pencil in there I will lightly erase it and then add the blue pencil
I will watch like David Finch because I love his inking. And he always does these great lines, but then he erases them and then he draws over them again. And I, I try to figure out why would you erase those lines? But I mean, he, he's good enough. He's been doing, I think he's like 25 years he's been doing it. So he can put down a line of body, body curve and it's perfect, but he'll he lightly erase it and then redo it again. And that to me is like, why, why? One, two, three, four. I always get those knuckles off. As in they're not they're not in the right place. So I'm not gonna I don't want to dig into this anymore with this pencil going over it again and again and again. So what I'm gonna do is something. I'm going to just cut to the finished part because this is just boring detail that will waste your time. So yeah, I'm going to cut. So I'm going to cut to the actual finished product and then I will actually finish it and then copy it and then I'll cut. I'll come back with that. So we're going to cut it here. All right, so I'm back. This is the final drawing not the final final drawing so we have the copy here which is not the greatest of copies but that's okay because I'm going to draw a uniform on it then ink it then recopy it in black and white so all these extra lines or broken lines or whatever should not be seen so the hard part is coming up with a costume for this guy uh, I have a lot of characters that I did when I was young and I said I was going to just use that uniforms that they had but I cannot find those those um, I can't find them, so I'm just going to come up with some kind of just quick generic uniform. And as I said in the last video, if it turns out to be a good costume, I'll keep it and throw it into my um, universe. And if it's not, I'll just throw it in the corner somewhere and just never look at it again. So I'm going to sit here and stare at it for a minute and try to figure out what kind of costume I'm going to put on this guy. And then we will go from there. Oh, and I also changed the legs. I brought the legs in because the leg, the knee was coming out too much. I brought it into where it's one kind of smooth arch. Um, I think I rounded the shoulders off a little bit. I made the head a little bigger because it was the chin was up too high and adjusted the hands and the arms a little more. So other than that, it's time to figure out a costume. It might take me a day. It might take me two days. I don't know, but I'm going to work on it. So I'll see you when I figure out what costume I'm going to put on them. All right, so I'm sitting here staring at this thing, trying to create greatness. And I'm not trying to create greatness. I'm just trying to throw some type of costume on him. So I'm just going to do something and see how it comes out. So I'm inventing, I am basically inventing something. So because I have no idea where I'm going with it, I'm going to just fast forward this so I don't waste your time because I'm, I'm not sure where it's going to go. So I'm just going to fast forward it and uh, I'll see you when it's done. All right, here it is, quick little costume. So I'm gonna ink this, and then I'm gonna get back to you when it's inked. It's just quick, just trying to get some some balance to the costume. Um, it kind of looks almost like, a, he did look like a runner with the gargles, but I changed that when I put the stripes and so forth on it, but yeah. So I'm gonna ink it and get back to you when I'm finished inking. Okay, so here it is, finished product, quick generic suit from dressing this pose. So usually I say the pose kind of represents the power. If I did something like, you know, uh, coming from his hands, move, some kind of energy or something coming from his hands, 
it would represent this guy as you know got those hand energies but as i say usually the pose will represent the powers if he has a cape pretty much you can say he can fly you know if he's got like guns and you know he's a, like a assassin type of punisher type character so that's going to be it for this i thought i was going to have a point to uh saying something but i don't <laughs> so this is going to be it for this video and i will continue to work with these um poses for you guys who just want to show off your character and i'm going to do you know a little more in depth just nothing really you know too hard but for you beginners you know a little more twisting maybe a little more or some up shots or some down shots but basically it will be more your hero pose all right so that's going to be it for this video and i will see you in the next video give me a thumbs up if you liked it uh hit the notification bell so you can see some more and um subscribe if you haven't and tell a friend tell a friend if you have an artist friend tell them what i'm doing here and you know they can find some good stuff all right see you guys in the next video